Hi, I'm Tazza Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you how to make a ruby red lip mask. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so here I have my phase A ingredient and this here is the Sucre Gel XL by Alchemy. This is what is going to bring my lip mask together. Now it's a very simple and easy product to put together but it is really really nourishing and emollient for the lips. And here I have my phase B ingredients. So I'm going to put these together first. So I've got here some caprylic capric triglyceride. This is a medium skin feel triglyceride. To this I'm going to add a couple of plant oils. So I've got some marula oil here. And I've also got some avocado. This is really good for dry skin. So if you've got dry lips, it's perfect for that. Now, next to get that ruby red color, I'm gonna add a few drops of this ruby red vegetable oil from Bioli. This is gonna give it a really nice ruby red pale pink color. Absolutely beautiful. Next, I'm gonna add some pink grapefruit essential oil, just a small input. And then I'm gonna add some tocopherol as well as my antioxidant. This is gonna protect it from oxidizing, but tocopherol also has some really good skin benefits as well. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. And that's what it's looking like. Beautiful red color there. Now with your sucre gel, you will need to use a overhead stirrer to incorporate your oil phase into the sucre gel. Now you do need to add the oil phase very slowly, otherwise it can separate and you will need to increase the RPM of your stirrer as you add more oil because it does become thicker. But I will show you how to put it together so it stays together. So you just wanna add a little bit of your oil phase at a time. So just a tiny bit like that. And once it starts to turn like a white looking emulsion and it's looking quite glossy, that means that you're ready for your next bit of oil phase. So it is a little bit of a slow process, but sucre gel can separate quite easily if you add too much oil or too quickly. So you do need to take your time with this and not rush it. Okay, so once it's looking like this beautiful ruby red or light pink, beautiful clear gel, that's pretty much it. But we are going to cover it and leave it for a while just to make sure it remains stable. And here is what my lip mask is looking like the next day. It feels really nice and soft and buttery on the skin. It's also going on really nicely. It's thick, but not when you rub it in and it feels quite light, it's not heavy. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a ruby red lip mask. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.